Since ancient times, people have always been looking for clever ways to improve their hunting and battle skills. One of the great historical inventions that contributed to this was the sling, a weapon used by several ancient civilizations, from the Egyptians, Assyrians, and Persians to the Romans. It is a weapon with an apparently simple design, but it is highly effective and can reach very high speeds. Studies show that launched objects can reach up to 100 kilometers per hour. With this speed, expert sling throwers in the old days could hit targets up to 400 meters away, surpassing even archers. The sling is comprised of two sections of rope connected to a pouch where the ammunition is stored. The person puts a finger in one of the loops at the end of the rope and holds the bag at the other end with the remaining fingers. With their free hand, they start swinging the sling around in a circle next to or above their head. When the right time comes, they release the bag, throwing the projectile out of the sling in a more or less flat arc. Besides the sling itself, the other very important part of this ancient weapon was its ammunition. Sling specialists, known as slingers, had various options for choosing the best projectiles for their purpose. These could come in different shapes and sizes and be made of different materials. Regarding shape, some were round, oval, teardrop-shaped, or pointed. Some even had small holes, believing to make a whistling sound when thrown, making the attack more frightening. Many of these objects also had designs on them, from animals such as scorpions or snakes, to the inscription of short messages. They were used in a wide variety of ways, from direct attacks on an enemy camp or town to frightening opposing soldiers. Size-wise, the projectiles range from small stones weighing 50 grams to large stones the size of a fist weighing 500 grams. The simplest projectiles were made from stones found on the ground or taken from riverbeds. Sometimes, they were also shaped in clay and baked, but the best were those made of molten lead. They were small but heavy, and this made them perfect for flying far and accurately. One benefit of lead was that it was easy to find because it was made when people mined silver. During archaeological excavations, teams found sling bullets with holes in the middle. But the great surprise came from practical studies, which revealed the true power of the sling. The impact of a lead bullet launched by a sling was nearly as strong as that of a 44 Magnum revolver, a weapon so powerful that the police refrained from using it due to its strong recoil. Furthermore, these bullets could hit targets at an unimaginable distance of up to 120 meters, a range that coincided with the positions of the Roman legions and Celtic warriors in battle. Slingers held a key role in ancient battles. They were often part of the infantry, alongside archers and spearmen. In battle, slingers crept up behind the main lines of soldiers, using the aisles between them to hurl their projectiles at their enemies. They were particularly useful during walled city sieges as they could hit defenders on the walls or targets inside the city. Slingers were known to be effective in this type of attack. When siege towers and other war engines were used, slingers positioned themselves on elevated platforms to launch their projectiles over enemy walls. They were also skilled at ambushes, using the terrain to rapidly surprise the enemy. The projectiles thrown from the slings were extremely powerful and accurate. According to historical accounts, they could hit defenders on the walls, shatter shields, helmets, and even armor, inflicting a great deal of damage on enemy soldiers. Even against softer targets, such as those without leather protection, sling bullets were highly dangerous and could cause serious injuries, such as perforated organs and broken bones. Of all the slingers of the past, the most adept at using it were the Balearic Island slingers. These were important mercenaries who fought for both the Carthaginians and the Romans. These men's first recorded presence is around the middle of the 4th century BC. General Hannibal understood how important the Balearic slingers were used in his battles. They were great at ambushing and raiding, which helped Hannibal win many battles. Before the Second Punic War against Rome, he noticed the importance of the Balearic soldiers and enlisted at least 1,400 of them in his army. They were extremely useful in important battles, such as at Trebia, where they helped drive off the enemy cavalry. Even after Carthage had been defeated, the Balearic slingers still served, now in the Roman army. They were fiercely loyal and skilled, and were used in several campaigns across the Mediterranean. In the first century BC, during the Gallic Wars led by Julius Caesar, the Balearic slingers revealed their great skill in both military battles and in the ensuing civil wars. These soldiers joined the special units of the Roman Auxiliary Corps, along with the archers from the island of Crete and the Nubidian Light Cavalry. 
These units continued to be an important part of the auxiliary troops until the 2nd century. The Slingers are also present on the famous Trajan's Column, which was built to commemorate Roman victories in the military campaigns against the Dacians. The Roman writer, Vegetius, wrote down valuable information about the Balearic Slingers. He stated that all Roman recruits should follow the example of the Balearic Slingers and also be trained to use the sling. Vegetius described the training that was given to the children of the Balearic Islands and that they were not allowed to eat until they had mastered how to hit a target with the sling. He also stressed how effective the sling was in combat. Even if the soldiers were armored to protect themselves, they were more vulnerable to the rounded stones thrown by the slings than to the enemy's arrows. Finally, the writer defended the idea that all soldiers, without exception, had to receive training in using the sling, especially for use in rocky mountainous terrain during raids on castles and towns. This way, despite being undervalued when compared to other ancient weapons, such as swords or bows, the sling had an essential role in battles that influenced history, making it one of the main weapons employed by ancient civilizations.